Every year, New York City is visited by hundreds of bird species. Colorful warblers, singing thrushes, giant birds of prey, and even owls. But one pint-sized pollinator might be the most impressive of them all, the ruby-throated hummingbird. Where do these minuscule aves come from? How do they survive here? And can we continue to live alongside them? I've made it my mission to find out. This is Wild New York. My name is Ben, and I'm a wildlife photographer, amateur naturalist, and animal lover. Say hi to my new co-worker. Join me and my friends as we journey around the city and sometimes around the world to learn a little bit more about the wildlife that shares our home. New York City is visited by hundreds of bird species during fall migration. But today, we're going to be taking a closer look at one of its smallest visitors, Archilochus colibri, or the ruby-throated hummingbird. The ruby-throated hummingbird is a feat of biological engineering. They have one of the highest metabolic rates of any animal, with a heart that beats nearly 1,300 times per minute. In flight, their oxygen consumption per gram of muscle tissue is nearly 10 times that of the greatest human athletes. Hummingbirds are pretty small. How small? Well, most only weigh about as much as a nickel. Among the smallest birds to visit the five boroughs, ruby-throated hummingbirds are between 2.8 and 3.5 inches long, with a wingspan between 3 and 4 inches. Males weigh around 3.5 grams, while females weigh around 3.8. Muscle tissue makes up around 30% of their total body weight, but it's not all about the beef. Hummingbirds sport a unique skeletal structure with wings that connect to the body only at the shoulder. This allows the hummingbird to create its signature flight pattern, rotating its wings nearly 180 degrees. Many birds can hover in mid-flight like the hummingbird, but they are the only avians who can fly backwards. During their hovering maneuvers, they can beat their wings nearly 80 times a second, a feat which I, even with the help of time-lapse, can't come close to. And hummingbirds need that power. They've been known to migrate more than 500 miles across the open ocean of the Gulf of Mexico during their migration. Now that we know a little bit more about the ruby-throated hummingbird, let's go see what we can find. The Heather Garden in Fort Tryon Park is one of the most beautiful spaces in Upper Manhattan. Its lush landscape lures many migratory birds, like the American goldfinch, and plenty of mammal species, like the groundhog, and the striped skunk. But it's the flowers that attract most visitors, both humans and wildlife. The blossoms lure in butterflies, like this silver-spotted skipper, as well as the current scourge of the city the spotted lanternfly. You can find dozens of bee species, like these carpenter bees. And with enough patience, you're sure to spot a few ruby-throated hummingbirds. Today, it turned out I wasn't the only one watching. A red-tailed hawk passed by, searching for prey amidst the garden. Hummingbirds of any species are incredible to watch. There's no other bird quite like them. If you've got the opportunity to see them, don't miss the chance to get out of the wild. And we'll see you on the next adventure. If you enjoy our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe, and feel free to leave us a comment if you've seen any cool wildlife around New York City. Catch you next time.